Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the language and the words we use every day. So if you're into language and history, subscribe and never miss a word. Today we're looking at the history behind the name of one of the most important Christian holidays. Easter, noun, a Christian holiday commemorating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. History and etymology. For years, I've always heard that Easter was named after a fertility goddess. That particular goddess was Ostara. Turns out, her name is identical for the old words for dawn, sunrise, and for the direction east. The Proto-Indo-European word aus meant to shine, or the dawn, and came into Latin as aurora, which meant sunrise. It also made its way into Germanic languages as Ost, meaning east, where the sun rises. This is possibly the origin of the name of the month of April in early English, Eastermanath, where the holiday likely got its name after the month that it generally falls in. The other possible origin comes to us from a Christian monk in the 1700s AD named Bede. In his work on the dates that Easter should fall, is written the earliest reference to the Saxon goddess Ostara. His writing is the best evidence that the month and the holiday are named after a pagan goddess. Curiously enough, one of the most famous philologists of all time came to his defense. Jacob Grimm, yes, from the Grimm's fairy tales, he extrapolated what the name of a fertility goddess should be in Saxon, based on early Germanic names for the same or similar goddesses, and the name he came up with was Ostara. This backed up Bidet's claims that the holiday may have been named after a fertility goddess, as well as a lot of the customs associated with the holiday being eggs and bunnies. I still find it strange that it, in English, we chose to use a different word for the holiday than pretty much any other language spoken in the Christian community. Most non-English speakers call the holiday Pascha, which comes from a transliterated word from Hebrew for the Passover feast, Pesach. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or thought you learned something, please leave a like and share it with your friends. You can always visit my website for more words down below, follow the link. And until next time, Keep on learning.